Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys something that you probably don't know about me. Only very few of my family members know. Maybe almost all of my family members. Is that I'm a huge movie critic. My older brother tells me this. He hasn't been telling me that I'm a huge movie critic, like, all the time. He's been telling me every so often. And honestly, I couldn't care less. I wear, like, a frickin' badge of honor. And what it means to be a movie critic is that I have my own personal opinions on how I like my movies. Like, if I, if I watch a certain movie and if I like it or don't like it, I'll give my own personal opinion about it. Whether it be a movie or a TV series or whatever I watch. It doesn't matter. I won't hold back or pull my punches. And so, last week, I saw Thor Love and Thunder with some of my family members. Not all of them, just some of them. And after I saw it, I would say it was pretty good. But I would rank it on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd rank it a 7.5 out of 10. I told you I don't pull any punches. I don't hold back when it comes to these sort of things. And thank... I mean, thank God it wasn't terrible. I mean, I was having some pretty good expectations about it. Thankfully, I did, because Thor Love and Thunder, great movie. My mom is obsessed with Thor. Not like having posters all over her room or anything. She just loves Thor, because he's so handsome. He is, but I have other favorite characters that I like besides Thor. You know, like Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, stuff like that, you know? Everybody has their own different characters on how, um, from movies or TV shows. And, uh, and for my mom's case, it's Thor. But for me, it's different characters. Also, another thing that I'm not proud of is that I can also be a movie spoiler or TV spoiler. I remember this one time when my older brother came home. He was in his room and he was watching an anime called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And it's a pretty good anime. It's one of my top 10 favorites. But... I honestly didn't know he was like, you know, like, I didn't know this was his first time watching it. I thought he was, he finished watching it and he was like re-watching some of his favorite episodes or something. But I had the audacity, the nerve to tell him and to tell him the ending and spoil it to him. And I felt awful. I did. I felt completely bad about it. But there was nothing I could do. What's done is done. He forgot about it, but I didn't. And I should know that it's in the past and there's nothing I could do about it. And I shouldn't be, feel too bad because there are other people that spoil movies from the internet, show a bunch of images, or write stuff down in the comments about trailers or how they saw the end credits or something like that. And thankfully, I am not going to spoil Thor Love and Thunder. As much as I give it, not give it a 10 out of 10, there ain't no way in hell that I'm spoiling it. Because I made a promise to my older brother that I'm not going to spoil it until he sees it. Because he hasn't seen it yet. But I have. And it wouldn't be fair if I spoiled it to him and he wouldn't like it. So, it's best if he see the whole movie experience for himself. So... That's all I have to say about me being a movie critic slash movie spoiler. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, sort of short video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.